about being brilliant. It's not always, we're not after people walking in the room and just being fantastic straight away. We want people to come along, we want to work with them, we want to develop their skills. It's not a threatening thing. This really isn't threatening. This is very open, very friendly. They'll do a workshop. They will not be made to do embarrassing things. Yes, they'll have to sing, they'll have to dance, they'll have to act. But it's not one of those sort of awful old-fashioned auditions that they probably get used to if they go into the profession, where you do get that. But, but a very much a, a workshop audition, where people go out having had a good time. The audition process itself is singing, drama and dance and um, it's very energetic and hands-on and you do a lot of all three and when I first came to my first audition I was really nervous because I hadn't a clue what to expect and in auditions I've done before you always had to prepare something and bring it in with you whereas this you don't prepare anything which I think is a, lot be a much better way of doing it. It was a lot nicer than other though I've been to definitely. Yeah. It was I forgot that I was actually auditioning, it was more like a lesson that I was having at school or something. The great thing about uh, musical theatre is that it's the only sort of performance based piece or performance based um, discipline where we need actors, singers, dancers and sometimes and often all three come together and some young people or some people that think they might want to audition for this might be saying to themselves but I'm a dancer come along because we look we, we are looking for dancers we are looking for singers we are looking for actors some people might say well I'm, I do all three a bit of all three People are amazed the way they change, the way their talents grow, and the way they discover other things that they didn't know they wanted to do. Well, I've done, I think, four projects now with YMT and uh, the reason I keep coming back is because on every single one of them, we've all had a ball. We've worked ourselves into the ground. I mean, sometimes I feel that when we hand them back at the end of a week, two weeks or whatever it is, that we're handing back some extremely tired people. Uh, but we have such a good time, it's so well run, I don't think there's any worries whatsoever, I would say to any parent, have a lovely holiday. I've got two, one is to just, whatever they are, try and get some dance classes before you come to an audition, just the odd one or two, just to try and get your body around new material, no matter uh, what it is. And the second one is to just make sure you've got some loose trousers on that you can bend down. Some of the kids are coming in jeans and it's very difficult to, to, to literally use the floor, and the floor is the place we need to, to use, particularly in the improvisation and, and physical stuff. I have two as well. A bottle of water keep it in your hand for most of the singing um, and the second one would be to start your vocal warm-up alone before you come into the room. Go to the theatre and watch plays before you come and when you're watching a play, when they're watching a play, try and understand why something works on the stage or why it doesn't work on a stage so that they're a little bit more analytically than they would normally would and secondly just to come and, and be very honest about what they do and not, not to try and come to impress but just come and be honest in their work.